All right, Kevin, thank you. Now to the latest on the COVID-19 pandemic. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has now approved two COVID-19 vaccines for children six months of age up to five years old. 17's Marco Torres in studio tonight with more on what that means for your young ones. Marco. Jim, it's a milestone that took more than a year and a half in the making. However, some families are still cautious about the effects this newly approved vaccine will have on their young children. On Saturday, vaccine advisors for the CDC voted unanimously to approve the two-dose Moderna and three-dose Pfizer vaccines to children between six months and five years old. This means that the whole family essentially can be vaccinated. That means protection against the short-term and long-term consequences of COVID. Local doctors say this is a huge step forward for everyone. I absolutely think it is a milestone that should be celebrated. There are so many parents out there that have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this vaccination to be approved for our youngest cohort of children. For now, students are not required to have the vaccination to attend school. Things could change once full FDA approval is given, but there's time. This COVID-19 vaccine requirement would not be required any time before July 1st, 2023. As for local families, we asked what they thought about the new COVID-19 approval. I don't think there's a reason to worry. Well, I feel it's just like a vaccination, like the other shots that you have to take. The shots may be causing long-term harm. I've had my shots. I'm 85. I'm 85. So my long term is, is short term. It doesn't bother me. But if you've got a child, they don't know what's going to happen in the long run. To clear up rumors and false information, Dr. Amin says there's no reason to worry. We now have millions of children who have been vaccinated against COVID-19 starting in April of 2021. And they are not dying because of the vaccine. They are not having long term side effects because of the vaccine. They are not becoming infertile because of the vaccine. The vaccine is protecting them against severe illness against COVID-19. And quite honestly, that's it. Now, the California Health and Human Services Department is encouraging all families to reach out to your local physicians and clinics to get not only your youngest vaccinated, but the entire family. In studio, Marco Torres, 17 News. Thanks, Marco. And that